Hi crafters! I am on here to show the projects that I made for Scrap Diva Designs. This is for her summer collection and I was able to get through the rest of her summer dies all but one summer die um, and that would be this one. So I'm going to do a tutorial on this happy little jellyfish and her slider set. I'm obsessed with this slider card set. I've never made a slider card before. Um, and now I just want to make a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to do um, either slider card or slider tags with this jellyfish. I'm going to give it some movement. So that should be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to quickly show off the projects that I made and everything will be listed below in the description. So definitely check that out. You'll be able to find the names of the dies that I used really easily. I also have an affiliate link and a code hello10. So first thing is this jelly tote. I love these totes they're so cute and they fit so many things so, so many different items in them i did one for christmas i did a tutorial on how i made these totes specifically i used a holographic craft board paper and i completely lined it on the inside so they look really nice and when i showed these off initially i hadn't decorated them yet so i finally got around to decorating them for the summer theme I used her pineapple shaker from last year, and I believe this shaker comes in three different sizes, so I was able to pick a size that fit this best. I think this is the medium size that I used. And then her sunglass heart shakers, I think is what they're called, but she came out with that this year, and look at how cute. It gives the pineapple so much character. I just think it's so cute. So I just decorated it with some chipboard really simply and some pom poms on the top. And you really don't have to do much to these totes because they're just so cute on their own. So you don't have to like over decorate if you don't want. You can totally dress it up as much as you want though. I've seen so many different tote ideas on Instagram and it's worth checking out the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. Like so many people post incredible ideas and incredible projects um this one just says sand and sun and i really love the color scheme on this one it reminds me of a sunset and the next project i made were these summer flags she came out with this zigzag pinwheel i think is so perfect for this um the wavy flags were uh, a few months ago i believe and then the little sand castle these are add-ons to the Beach Ball mini album that she came out with. So super cute little add-ons that you can put on anything, a little surfboard, um, the bathing suit, and then also the umbrella all come with that as an add-on. So I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. And then, oh, and this is also part of her summer words that she came out with this year. And then this is the second wavy flag with the little pinwheel, more of the add-ons, the sand castle and another word from the summer collection of words that she came out with and this little soda bottle die i absolutely love i made one for the christmas in july hop that erica hosted and again i wanted to make it here as well i wanted to do some summer themes and so it just i used the cheers on both of them um this is from a dress it up buttons button the it, I think it's just called popsicles and then um, this is from one of their bead mixes and a little um, flower button that they also have on their site and then this is the edge flower that comes from Scrap Diva Designs and Mommy Me Crafts like added oh what is this called I don't remember what it's called but it's um a part of Scrap Diva's kits or one of her die sets I'll have everything listed below again, so I'll put like soda bottle and I'll list all the dyes that I used, but this one's definitely worth picking up. I've used it before for sequin mixes and um, in like other types of packaging, but this I just thought was so cute when Patty from Mommy and Me Crafts did it and just super clever so you can gift it and they can use the shaker bits inside. So this is another one that I made. It's watermelon theme. The watermelons also came from Dress It Up Buttons. And this is her rose flower um, from Scrap Diva Designs, I believe. And um, again, I did the same thing with the back. And 
And then this is the Flip Flop Mini Album. And this flower actually comes with the die set, so it's really super cute. And there's other flower add-ons that you can use to decorate the little um, toe part of the flip-flop. And then um, I believe I picked this up from her martini glass set. She has like this little lemon die cut, but I made it look like an orange. And then of course her butterfly rosette, more of the, um, the super cute heart shaker glasses. And then I just added like some shaker bits on the inside. See if I can get some movement in there. And then um, I just, this is from a different die set, but this set comes with these little flip flops and I really wanted to show that off. Plus it comes with this die as well. So it gives you an option for decoration. So you can use this part on the front and like do alternating um, paper patterns if you wanted, or you could use this as part of your shaker. There's so many different ways that you can build this flip-flop, so I think that's really clever in itself. And then this is the Beach Ball mini album. And again, I used, um, oh, these summer words I think actually came from last year. And then um, some Dress It Up buttons, her little pinwheel flag fit really nicely there. I put the sand castle behind the beach words. I thought that looked really nice together. And then again with the flip flops. And then you have the sand castle again with the little parasol and just a really simple placement on the inside for notes. So these are all the projects that I made for Scrap Diva Designs. And again, check out my description below. It will list all of the dies that I used on all of the projects, even the ones that I may have forgotten to mention. And I will have an affiliate link with the code HELLO10. So definitely check that out. Use the code. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.